What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's video I want to talk about the Crucible quest line, Crucible Forge, offered by Lord Shax. Now this quest line, once completed and you being a rank 3 with Crucible, will then offer you each week 5 more Crucible bounties from Shax himself and with the completion of these 5 bounties, you can then cash in a 6th bounty which basically requires you to complete the other 5. This 6th bounty contains Nightfall tier rewards. It was something introduced by Bungie for all the PvP players and an extra something to reward them. Now as crazy as it seems there are people who only play PvP and this is basically their Nightfall. I decided to do this quest so each week I can get something extra in terms of rewards. The quest line itself is crazy long but then again it's a quest made for PvP players who don't get many quests. So it's understandable in its length. The question is, is it worth the everyday PvE player doing? Are the rewards worth it? Well in this video I'll try and help you decide. I will run you guys through all the quest steps and then show you guys what I got for doing this quest and the bounties at the end. So the quest starts with Crucible Forged. Now I will cut out all the visits to the tower and back although they do add a lengthy time number to this quest. Just remember after each step you basically have to go back to the tower. Okay so to start you have to defeat opposing guardians in a control match while your team holds at least 2 control zones. Here you have to get 8 kills. Then you have to defeat opposing guardians in a clash playlist. Here you have to get 12 kills. Then you have to defeat opposing guardians while your team has an active runner in the rift playlist. There you have to get 5 kills. Then you have to defeat opposing guardians in the rumble playlist. Here you have to get 12 kills. Then you have to defeat opposing guardians in the skirmish playlist. Here you have to get 8 kills. Then you have to capture relics in the salvage playlist. Here you have to salvage 3 relics. Then you have to complete a match in the daily crucible playlist. Then you have to win a match in the crucible daily playlist. Then you have to win multiple matches in the crucible daily playlist and that's 4 wins there. Then you have to win matches in the control playlist for dead orbit. Remember though this part of the quest where you have to represent a faction, you don't actually have to pledge allegiance with them. So yeah you have to win 2 matches in the control playlist. Then you have to win 2 matches in the rift playlist. Then you have to win 2 matches in the clash playlist. Then you have to finish in the top 3 in 2 rumble matches. Then you have to win 2 matches in the skirmish playlist. Then you have to get 2 wins in the salvage playlist. You then have to get 5 wins in the elimination playlist. You then have to go on to get at least a score of 1200 while winning 5 games. I know as long as it sounds but it still goes on. You then have to get at least 6 kills with an auto rifle while winning 3 games. You then have to get 6 kills with a pulse rifle while winning 3 games. You then have to get 6 kills with a scout rifle while winning 3 games. And you then have to get 6 kills with a hand cannon while winning 3 games. Then we're on to the final part of this quest where you have to basically get 9 points. Crucible wins are worth 3 points but starting a new match costs 1 point. Basically you have to just win 4 games in a row. Once this is done, you'll head back to Lord Shax in the tower. He will give you a legendary prize called the Hothead, which is basically a reskin of the Dragon's Breath. And I believe that may be it, but there could be one more thing. But anyway, now I told you guys it was long and it does actually feel as long as it sounds. Now upon completion of this quest line, you unlock six more bounties with Shax himself. These will change each week, but this week for example, you basically have to get two wins in Crucible with at least a score of 1500. You then have to win seven matches. You then have to win one game in three different Crucible modes. You then have to earn points in any featured playlist. Crucible wins are worth three points. Starting a new match costs one point. Five points to complete this bounty. You then have to complete three Crucible dailies on three different days. Once all five have been completed, you can then cash in the sixth bounty, which is called the True Meaning of War, for that Nightfall tier reward. Now, since the 2.0 update, I have got nothing but dog shit from Nightfalls, which initially made me reluctant to do this actual quest. But because of my OCD, I just couldn't leave it. On screen now, you are witnessing me cashing in that sixth bounty and getting that reward. And actually, as you see, it's actually quite good. Now, I haven't got anything exotic or even anything half decent from the Nightfalls since the Taken King. So getting this exotic helmet for my hunter cheered me up. But be warned guys, it ain't all happy days. A couple pals of mine, I got 11 strange coins each for doing all of this quest. 
So it's definitely not 4 tier crap. I think I just got lucky. To be honest though, it is an extra edition of rewards you can collect each week. And to be honest, as long as the quest was, I actually enjoyed it. But yep guys, if you have done this, let me know what you got. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it helps you make a choice of whether or not you want to do this quest. Thanks for stopping by as always. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for Daily Destiny and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace!